Slidenerd over here and this is Vibs from Slidenerd. What's up guys? In this new series, I'm gonna start talking about Java patterns. There is different designs that you can make with asterisks and stuff like that. So you probably have seen these kind of programs. They are probably the most complicated programs if you're a beginner. So let's go ahead and check how these things are done. Starting with the first one which is called a hollow square. The output is gonna be exactly what you see on the screen. A square made of asterisks or maybe a rectangle. So here's the thing, you ask the user, you say enter the size, he says 5 and you need to make a square exactly which is 5 stars wide and 5 stars tall, right? And there are spaces in between, this is exactly the output. So let's go ahead and see how this is done. But before we start, I will tell you this, there are two ways to do this, I have covered both the ways. In this video, I'm probably going to be talking about the first way. Next time, we'll go ahead and see the second way how it works. So let's go ahead and see ahead. Here's the thing. Whenever you see a problem like this, you divide it into rows and columns. Pretty simple. The vertical ones, they are columns. The horizontal ones are rows, right? So as you guys can see, for the first row, we need all the five stars. For the last row, we need all the five stars, right? So let's just talk about the first row initially. Let's talk only about the first row, all right? Now there are five stars. If the user says he wants a size of seven, then there are seven stars, right? So in short, no matter how many uh, stars the user wants you have to make sure that you print that many stars so what we simply do is we print one star and we repeat this five times simple right we use a for loop and repeat it we say j is one j less than five j plus plus print star all right so this is for printing the first row now if you see the last row that again looks very similar to the first row right you can say the same thing print star once and you repeat this five times right so you say j is 1, j less than 5, g++, plus plus, for loop, there. Now if you see the center row, now this is where things get a bit trickier, alright. So you have j is 1, you have j less than 5, j++, plus plus, because remember 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 columns. There are 5 columns, so you definitely need a for loop which goes through each column, right. But, here is the thing, you print a star, but when do you print a star? You print a star on the first column and you print the star on the fifth column otherwise you print one two three you print blank spaces right so let's go ahead and see how that works if we say if j is one or we say if j is five then we print a star otherwise we print a blank space so i hope you guys are under understanding what is going on over here it's pretty simple remember if it's the first column we print a star if it's the last column we print a star otherwise we print spaces nothing else now here's the thing this is for one row there are one two three rows exactly like this so have this entire for loop three times simple right there's another way to do this I'm gonna go into that way also but first I wanted you guys to go through this one which I think is simple the other one uses double for loops so let's go ahead and net beans and get this up and running alright so this is how it exactly works so let me go ahead and show you guys how this is done we need to print the first row we need to print the middle rows which is size minus two so if there are five rows, the first row and the last row are gone, which le leaves us with three rows, right? That is size minus two. So now I'm going to write a for loop. I'll say for control space. As you guys can see, there's a nice shortcut over here. Let's say int i equals to one. i less than equals size. And i plus plus, all right? Now here we print the star. Let's go step by step and see how this looks. Alright, control S, shift F6. It's gonna say enter the size, I'll say 5. As you can see it's printing 5 stars, but this is coming on the same line. So let me put a new system dot out print ln over here. Control S, shift F6. Now if I say enter size 4, okay now you can see this is coming the next line because of that. We need to copy paste the same thing for the last row, right? There is no changes. I'm gonna take this in again. Alright, so let me uh, go ahead and run, run this thing again. Control S, Shift F6, F6. I'll say 5. Alright, now there are 5 stars and there are 5 stars, alright. So we need to do the middle rows. So let me go ahead and say paste. But here's the thing, we need to change this. We print a star only on the first column, right? And that is by saying int i equals equals 1. Or we print a star when we are at the last column. Remember the last column is size itself. If it is 5, then it is 5 over here, right? So we're gonna say, go ahead. So system dot 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 print star. Else, we print a space, right? Alright, so now control S, shift F6. 
enter the size 5 as you guys can see 1 2 3 there are exactly 3 blank spaces over here that's because i is 1 it prints a star over here i is 5 it prints a star over here otherwise it prints spaces in between but here's the thing we needed a square of this is only printing one row we need two more rows so we are going to have to write another for loop we're going to say for and j is 0 j less than or let me go to 1 j equals to 1 j less than equals uh, size minus 2 because first row is printed last row will be printing so we need to say size minus 2 and we'll say j plus plus so that takes pretty much care of everything let's go ahead and run this control s shift f6 size i'll say 5 all right so here's the thing as you guys can see we are getting these three rows in the same line right we need to put a new line exactly over here at this point so we can go in this loop let's open the brackets for this put this entire thing inside alright so this is what we have we have our outer for loop for printing three times we have our this for loop for printing the columns and we check the condition right if it is one or five so let me go and run this control s shift f6 shift f6 enter the size five and bam there you go it's running perfectly so in this way i hope you guys got something out of this it's a pretty simple program in the next bit i'm gonna show you the same program with a different method so stay tuned i'll catch you guys later thanks for watching